ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out ASI Master S1200 series ASI Master and the main thing we're going to be concentrating today is to check, uh, to check out how the ASI interface network is powered and specifically for 1200 series PLC, don't worry the 1500 series we'll be checking out in the future and ET200 uh, ESP as well, we're going to be doing all those in a later videos, but specifically today we're going to continue the ASI master. We're not going to be using decoupling unit. We're going to be checking that out in a uh, future. We're going to be using a external power supply, this guy right here, which is going to power all our ASI network. And for those who don't know what ASI uh, network is, it's it's a form of a communication that allows you to a like this specific power supply in there. We power your uh, field units uh, with uh, two cables and also at the same time transfer the data as well within the same cable which is in my view absolutely amazing it's very very commonly used and is, is getting more and more popularity and uh, it comes uh, used in uh, medium to big size uh, machineries all the way to an uh, entire factory because this specific uh, unit down there can power all 100 meters and in those, within those 100 meters, I believe you can add 127 devices, I'm not sure, and there's a whole massive range of these devices. So yeah, if you work in a factory that uses ASI uh, net, uh, interface networks, so, so uh, this is uh, probably the video for you to study and uh, understand how they really work. So the key today is the wiring, how to get ourselves going, how to get our, our network uh, uh, operational and that's what we're going to do today as you can see i have added two uh, panel mounted uh, uh, slimline one slimline well call them slimline units that uh, both of them uh, are going to be uh, communicating via asi interface network so that's what we're going to be uh, checking out in the next upcoming videos but the key for the first one today is the wiring understanding how to uh, power the network and how the network really uh, works so all related manuals and videos that I believe will feature possible way is going to be description below and don't forget this video is going to be part of uh, the S1200 series uh, S1200 series PLC uh, playlist we already did so do check it out if you haven't done so already so without further ado let's get started. <music> up if you're using a Siemens so you will need a Siemens power supply for uh, well probably uh, probably would suggest I never tried different uh, power supply for Siemens products so uh, I, I use a Siemens power supply because uh, this is specifically built for AS, AS interface so that's why it says AS power and as you can see on it I have power supply says 8 amp so there is a uh, 3 5 and 8 amps very much depends how many uh, devices are in your uh, in your ASI network that requires power will determine what size of the uh, power supply you will need so that's more or less self-explanatory. We have 230 volts going in in here, and we have a uh, right down down here at the bottom. We have a grounding, which me being lazy didn't add it, but for testing purposes we will be fine. But you should add a uh, grounding as well uh, to your entire network. So from there on, you have a uh, two outputs for. Um, ASI plus and ASI minus and also you have ASI switched if you want to use it I'm not going to get into switch because that's going to drag on switch power supplies is, is is something do check it out yourselves and find out what they do and uh, why, why would they why are they good and why they're not so for there you got like a little smaller uh, diagnostics window in here and then the right in here you have a reset button in here in case this guy's uh, this guy's got some sort of some form of a uh, self-diagnostic system in there that can diagnose the faults in there and will uh, fault out uh, if there is any and there's a reset button in here but also you have a little uh, a little um, a, a IO unit in here where you can actually have as a normally close and normally open signal in there but they can send signals back to your PLC or whatever the uh, else you want to send it to to identify to tell you that there's something wrong with your uh, with your power supply and also there you you can add a remote uh, this down there right down there it's a remote uh, reset in here which you can uh, reset remotely if you wish to do so and come aboard to click the button in here so yeah that's pretty much what the power supplies from there on as you can see i have ace plus and as minus going to my uh, asi master down there which you're going to be checking out now here we are so here's our ASI master as you can see in here my ASI master is flashing red because i wanted to pay a pan out a couple of faults you might be having in in, in the future so, so we're going to show you the reason my asi master now is flashing because i have a device which is right down there which i have oh 
hit the camera. Uh, ooh, as you can see, I'm not sure you, you are able to see. Let me let me move it along. As you can see, it's, it's showing a red right down there because it has not been uh, set up in a TI portal, basically in configurations. And he sees the device, but he does not does not what it is, and he's not part of the system. So uh, so yeah, and this is one of the couple of faults you could have potentially when the device could disappear or something like that, your whole network will uh, uh, error out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove it. We're gonna check out this wiring for these guys in the future, don't worry, this is all coming up. So, and our network, as you can see, our network uh, automatically has affixed itself. So, uh, because I have removed something that's not supposed to be there. Or, uh, in other way, if this would have been Punkway programmed and then we would remove it, this guy down there, then uh, uh, the network again would uh, uh, go out. So from there on, as you can see, that in there we have ASI plus, ASI minus, ASI plus, and ASI minus. Basically, uh, if the basic the card itself, if you, if you remove the power, let's so just remove the whole entire power from the system, which is any of the cables are going to take it out. So, so the card itself, yeah, works. And now we, it, it, uh, it. Um, uh, once you plug into PLC, PLC powers up and, and you will see the card and, and it's all there working, things like that. But he does need to see, the card itself does need to see the voltage presence. So that's why it's now uh, faulting uh, out red. It says, hello, my friend, I don't have power, I don't have voltage, do fix that. So here we go, we put the volts back on and this old card goes back live again. So now it says, okay, I see 30 volts. Let's go, we are ready, ready to go again. So, and yeah, it's basically the voltage coming here and from there on, uh, those, those two SI plus, those two, two in there, SI plus and SI minus, they're both the same. It just basically allows you to come in and then go off to a next device, to the next device, the next device. And this is what you can see in here. Ooh, let's move the camera a little bit. So as you can see in here, from there on, those cables are coming in here into my uh, into my um, slimline unit in here. We're going to check that unit out in the, in the future. This one's got uh, two outputs and two inputs, and this one's got uh, a uh, two output, uh, two in, uh, four inputs and four outputs. We check that out in the future how that's wired and things like that, mainly for the sensors and also there's all sorts of the options are endless. But just to give you an idea, it comes to your uh, uh, to your uh, unit whatever unit it is, and it goes to the next one, to the next one. When it comes down to pathology, uh, ASI doesn't really uh, care that much of pathology. You can connect anything to it, whichever way you want it. So, uh, and when it comes down to a uh, cabling, as you can see, Siemens is, has their own cabling for it. So it's, it's a yellow and a black cable. We will be checking them in the future, but the reason I'm using the, the standard cables in there because you don't have to use the Siemens cables for it because they're still the same proper cables. There's nothing different about it. And uh, because this would, this would be within the panel, I wouldn't be bothering into that because later on we'll be checking out why would, where, where, do, where, where we need to have a Siemens uh, cables, which uh, which can be checking out the different uh, IOs in the future. So yeah, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is there. from there on it comes to power. As you can see, it powers this this same power supply. It's powering this unit. was powered that next one, and they'll be able to uh, uh, work with. Uh, when we're going to add sensors to it, and uh, it'll be able to activate the outputs. As you can see down there, we got common normal close normally open. Uh, this is like a relay unit, and uh, you can uh, we'll check it. We, we get into it too too far now. So basically it powers your units and it goes on and on and on and on depending on the power supply here is very crucial to understand how many units you're going to be adding to your network. So and that ladies and gentlemen how the wiring works. It basically comes from unit to unit to unit and that is it. And then and, and once the units are uh, all uh, wired in from there on after that you need to address them. And that's what we're going to look at before we're going to see. Let's just move it. So here we go. Before we're gonna get into setting this guy up, so uh, we need to learn how to uh, uh, how to address address them. So for that, we need a uh, Siemens addressing unit, which we're gonna be check out in the next video. And that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it, that'll do for uh, this video. Hopefully, this is helping you out to get to uh, make you understand how the wiring OSI network is working. So, and you're well in your way, get yourself uh, ready and starting up. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, like what we're doing here. And if you've got any questions, things like that, do ask them in the question section below and I'll answer them as accurate and as soon as I can. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.